and welcome to Monday Morning Madness on this day, May 20th. I'm Jack Clark Watson. This is my lovely wife, Angie. And we're happy to share today's announcements with you. Please come to the Residents Association meeting Monday this afternoon, May 20th. This important meeting will include the election of new officers and the annual State of the Campus update by Laura Roy. The meeting will be in Shoal Conference Center starting at 2.30 for the social time. The official meeting begins at 3. Ambassadors are encouraged to arrive with their new residents at 2.30 so they have time to mingle and get to know our current residents. And immediately following the meeting, plan to stay for a happy hour in the area outside the creamery. Just bring your own drinks and have fun mingling with your friends and neighbors. Just a reminder that today, Monday, May 20th, MMC Land Management Service will apply weed control and lawn fertilizer. Please call Kerry at extensions 3586 if you do not want weed control or lawn fertilizer applied. The rain date is Tuesday, May 21st. Today starts a new session of the Great Courses DVD series on world religions. The six-part series will focus on Mormon traditions and will run on Mondays at 1 p.m. in the Music Room starting today through June 24th. Dale Krasinski will be sharing his music with us on Wednesday, May 22nd at 1 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. A reminder to those who signed up for the Wittenberg Covered Dish Get-Together. It is this Thursday, May 23rd at noon. Remember to bring your covered dish. Come enjoy a Dixieland band on Saturday, May 25th, 2 p.m. in the Centennial Gardens. We're happy to bring you the upcoming Aspire Wellness Trips and encourage you to think about enjoying them with a friend or two. On May 31st and June 14th, The Chosen, Season 4 at St. Ferdinand's Church. On June 11th, the Frick collections of Vermeer, Monet, and Rembrandt, the bus will pick up at 10 a.m. On June 22nd, Titanic the Musical at Lincoln Park. On June 26th, afternoon tea at the Johnston House. Please call Brian in the fitness center for more information and remember to complete a class registration form in the fitness center to sign up. May is Better Hearing and Speech Month, so let's celebrate communication across the lifespan. Be sure to thank a therapist today. And Jack's getting new hearing aids tomorrow. Yay! All are welcome to join in the 10.30 a.m. Sunday worship service in Seaman Memorial Chapel. If you're unable to attend in person, you can also watch the broadcast live on Channel 900. The scripture readings are also listed on Channel 900. A Catholic communion service is held on Thursdays at 10.30 a.m. in Seaman Memorial Chapel. A Bible study and hymn sing with Pastor Frieda and Jim Fister is held on Thursdays at 1.30 in Seaman Memorial Chapel. The Passive and Train Club is going on an excursion to Evans City to view a private collection of pristine antique cars. Call Dave Reckless at 724-452-3433 to join in. Future trips are also being planned. Did you know that when you purchase items from the gift shop, it builds funds through the auxiliary that are used to improve our campus? The gift shop, which is located in the Abundant Life Center lobby, is open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Stop in the gift shop to see the wide variety of essentials and gifts and even candy available to you. The regular hours for the gently used shop are Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. 
Take time to nourish your spirit with Pastor Frida on Channel 900 at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. every Thursday. Can you knit or crochet? Our Busy Hands group could use your help to make items for charity. If you're interested, just show up to one of the sessions. The group meets on Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. in the Arts and Crafts Room in the Abundant Life Center and from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Activities Room of New Haven Court. All skill levels levels are welcome and appreciated. Memorial Day is approaching. Plan to kick off the summer session with a grilled buffet in the Bistro on Monday, May 27th from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The buffet is just $15 per person. New residents, please make it a point to get your picture taken for the Passivant Pictorial Directory. Come to the lobby in the Abundant Life Center on Thursday, May 30th at 2 p.m. Please mark your calendar and come. Entertainer Rick Bruning will be here on Wednesday, May 29th at 1 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. A wine and cheese social will be held on Wednesday, May 29th at 2.30 p.m. in the Wittenberg Activity Room. Please plan to join friends for a relaxing social before dinner. Non-alcoholic refreshments will be available. Entertainer Pat Septak will be in Shoal Conference Center on Friday, May 31st at 6 p.m. to talk about the golden age of radio. A viewing event for Season 4 of The Chosen is being held at St. Ferdinand's Church. A bus has been set up for Friday, May 31st, to watch Episodes 1 and 2, and again on Friday, June 14th, to watch Episodes 3 and 4. The bus fee is $7, and bus pickup begins at 6.15 p.m. If you're interested in going, just contact Brian in the Fitness Center at Extension 3677. A veteran's breakfast is held the third Tuesday of each month at 10 a.m. in the Barron's Inn. All veterans are invited. The Abundant Life Men's Fellowship Ministry meets the second Friday of every month in the game room at 2.30 p.m. The purpose of this group is to cultivate a space for men to lean on other men and to provide support, ministry, and fellowship for one another. This ministry is open to men from our passive and community and also those from the surrounding communities. So mark your calendar and plan to join in on the second Friday of each month. If you need more information, call Al Stoker at 724-630-5371. Spring is here, so it's a great time to enhance your wellness journey with personal training. This great opportunity starts on June 1st. Resident members and Aspire Wellness members can access eight 30-minute sessions for just $120. The cost for community members is just $140. If you're interested, you can call or visit the fitness center and talk to a staff member to schedule your personal training sessions. The phone number for the fitness center is 724-452-3456. The telephone number to reach Amber Magnus in dining services has changed. Her direct dial number is 724-452-3534. Join the Fitness Center Bingo Challenge. Starting June 1st, complete the tasks on the bingo card to win a prize. Talk to the Fitness Center staff to sign up today. Just call 724-452-3456. The Silvas Mom, Dad, and Son Singing Group will be performing in Shoal Conference Center on Tuesday, June 4th at 1 p.m. Come and watch National Geographic 125 Years, a DVD series on Fridays, June 7th and June 21st at 3 p.m. in the Wittenberg Activity Room. The Elwood City Civic Chorale will be performing on Sunday, June 9th at 6 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. A ladies tea party <clears throat> will be held on Wednesday, June 12th at 2.30 p.m. in the Wittenberg Community Room. Please call Arlene 
Mark Whitney at 724-452-3681 to sign up. Pat Suptek presents Jukebox Memories on Friday, June 14th at 6 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. Entertainer Gene Testa will be here on Monday, June 17th at 6 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. The annual Residential Volunteer Appreciation Picnic will be held on Tuesday, June 25th in the Centennial Gardens. Invitations will be sent. You can RSVP to Jody Goulish at 724-452-3534 or to Kathy Reed at 724-452-3431. NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness of Butler County, hosts a family support group in the Beatitudes Room in the Abundant Life Center on the second Tuesday of every month at 5.30 p.m., Details are in the Life and Times. The Passivant Book Club will take a break for the summer and will resume in September. If you have any questions, please reach out to Carolyn at 724-453-8279 or Elaine at 814-758-0110. Stay tuned for the Passivant Olympics taking place on July 12th. More details will follow in upcoming weeks. If you're enjoying watching Money Morning Madness, think about taking a turn reading the announcements with a friend, neighbor, or spouse. Just talk to Owen Miller in Media Services or simply put your name on the sign-up sheet on his door. It's easy and fun to do. And finally, thanks again for tuning into this broadcast. You can find us on Channel 900 every Monday, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. Please tell your neighbors about this broadcast. It's an easy way to hear the upcoming activities and events. You can also watch this broadcast any day at any time on our Aspire Wellness YouTube channel. When you are on YouTube, simply search the words Aspire Wellness to find us. And remember... To continue watching Channel 900 throughout the week for daily updates, cancellations, additional details, and new announcements. Have, Have a great, great week. week. Hi, I'm Pastor Frida, pastor of SEMA Memorial and chaplain of Passamit Community. Throughout Scripture, we read about the ordinary people God has called and chosen to do extraordinary things. We see people such as Moses, Jeremiah, Gideon, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, to name just a few. We also see the reactions of these somewhat hesitant followers. For example, when God told Moses he was the one chosen to lead the people of Israel out of slavery into freedom. His first response was, I can't do that. I'm not an articulate speaker. Nobody will listen to me. What will I say to the people? God's response was, don't worry about what you will say. Trust and follow me. God then equipped Moses for this task by providing him with a person who was an articulate speaker, his brother Aaron. When God called Jeremiah, his first reaction was, I'm just a young boy. I'm too young to speak to God. Again, God equipped Jeremiah and provided him with the words to speak. Gideon was facing a huge army and had only a few soldiers. Yet God enabled Gideon to defeat the other army. Mary was only a young girl. Yet God chose her to carry his son, Jesus. 
At first, Mary asked, How can this be? Why did God choose her to carry his son? Not only that, how in the world was Mary going to explain this pregnancy to Joseph, the man she was engaged to marry? God said, Don't worry about those things. Trust me. God chose and called each of these ordinary people. We too are chosen and called to carry out the work God has called us to do, whatever that might be. And like the reluctant servants I mentioned, sometimes we too come up with reasons why and excuses why we are not the right person to carry out our calling. We are too young or too old. We have never done anything like that before. I wouldn't know where to begin. I don't have the time or skill to do this. I did this for a long time. It's someone else's turn. Let them step up and take over. It's important to remember God's people are called, chosen, set apart, equipped, and sent. God does not call us to do something and then leave us to our own devices. God equips us with what we need to do the work He has called us to do. God doesn't call the qualified. God qualifies the called. Let me say that again. God doesn't call the qualified. God qualifies the called. God may send us to uncomfortable and unexpected places. The amazing thing is, God enables us to do things we never thought possible. Remember, wherever God leads you, you are not alone. God is with you, guiding you. My hope is that we will pray and ask God to show us what he is calling us to do, and that God will give us the faith and courage we need to follow and trust that he will equip us for the work that we have each been called to do. Peace and blessings.